Um, today I learnt about someone called Dr Lovas who is responsible for ABA treatment. I've been against ABA treatment because every conversation I've had with adults on the spectrum has always been that they were traumatised. Now today I heard that one of Dr Lovas's way of treating children who were naturally stimming, naturally self-regulating was to attach electrodes to them and then put an electric shock through the floor every time they self-regulated and hand flapped. I am incensed. I am so angry. As an adult, I have had ECT, which is an electric convulsion treatment. And that it was a horrible, scary experience. I cannot even begin to imagine what it was like for children who, by the looks of it, he targeted mostly low-functioning children who wouldn't necessarily been able to communicate I have no words to describe how I feel and yet they advocate this, this this happened and yet rather than being abhorrent and shocked and horrified that children were electrified and given electric shocks simply because they were stimming self-regulating because it was a problem for the people around them not the child I, I have no words I am so angry how can anyone be allowed to do that and then all the therapies be based on that and we all know that ABA because of its reputation has now been changed to a different name and yet schools are using this therapy this kind of ABA therapy and NAS schools are doing it I'm horrified this man traumatized children in such a manner because they were self-regulating they were stimming and I often think to myself as an adult with autism and who was made to conform and who basically got broken like a horse because they didn't conform I didn't conform the way they wanted me to and it broke me like it would break a horse it takes the spirit out of the person they lose their identity they lose who they are and they're still doing it they're advocating therapies that break a child's spirit to make them conform to society's way of being on the premise that they have to conform to fit in but in reality who is it a problem for when a child does a schema and they're doing building lines now who's the problem is it the problem for the child or is it the problem for the people around them when a child is spinning right in a public place what's the problem the child's regulating themselves they're doing the best they can in a difficult situation who is it a problem for is it a problem for me a problem for you or a problem for the child when a child is in sensory overload who's it a problem for the child you or others around you who's affecting you is it the people around you judging you criticizing you criticizing your par parenting or the child so why is it the child is repeatedly given negative consequences for doing the best that they possibly can? Now myself, I think all the time, what can I do to change? What must I do to change? Because I know I make mistakes, mistakes on a daily basis. Every day I make a mistake. Every day I get it wrong. And that's what I do. I go back and I think, what did I do wrong? What could I have done differently? A child does the best they can and yet we give them negative consequences so for instance a child gets overload nobody's why do people not sit back and think well what could i have done differently but no you're getting a consequence you're not getting this you're not getting that you're not getting this nice trip because you made a mistake no we all make this we all do this because we are programmed and institutionalized to believe that the child needs to change their behavioral response to the situation rather than the adult or the community or the society think how can we change how we're responding to that child to give that child the tools they need at some point to cope. No, you will change child. You will do as we say. You will conform to society's perceived sense of normality. And if you don't, we will punish you for it or we will give you a negative or positive consequence depending on how you behave and the child eventually the spirit is broken it needs to stop we can't be promoting a man like this we really can't i am horrified and i really want people to think who is the problem the child stimming self-regulating the best way they can 
to cope or is it us? Who's the one who should be changing their behavioural response? That's what I want to know. Because me, I know there's things out there that I can use, that I want to use, that means I can model appropriate behaviours for my tr my ones to learn from. So there's non-violent communication that you can learn to use. There is a neurological linguistic programming which works on the premise that no one is broken, they just need help to find the tools. There's lots of holistic ways of dealing with things, not to cure, not to make better, but to help the children develop a toolkit whilst maintaining their true identity, who they are as a person, and they can be who they are without the negative consequences or having their own spirit destroyed and broken simply because it's a problem for everybody else around them. We need to stop this. We need to sit back and stop treating the children as they are the ones at fault. We all make the mistake society puts so much pressure on parents to behave so much pressure on parents that it's their fault but in reality until we start loving children the way they are and giving them the tools to cope and accepting them for who they are and redirecting in a positive way we're going to keep going the way we're going but no child should be electrocuted or given electric shocks simply because they were stimming and people will say well we don't do this anymore we don't do this anymore no we don't but we do even more subtle ways of doing it where we can close our eyes and bury our head in the sand and say we're not doing anything wrong we're not breaking the child's spirit we're just giving them a consequence it's the same thing you're breaking the child's spirit Stop blaming the parents, support the parents to learn different tool tools to help their children learn different tools without taking away their identity, without punishing them for self-regulating. Let these children develop their own sense of who they are and give the parents the support. Stop breaking the parents because they're not doing what you want.